Hey, hi everyone. My name is Wafa Salimi. Hi, I'm Hannah Murthy. I'm Kaylee Ryan. And so our topic is the linkage between type 2 diabetes and periodontitis. Type 2 diabetes is rising more and more each year in the U.S. and is associated with oral diseases such as periodontitis. This is a subject that is often overlooked and is way more common than one would think. We are going to break down the oral manifestations associated with this disease, as well as the role of the dental hygienist when sitting with their patient. To add on to what Hannah was saying, an important thing to note between type 2 diabetes and periodontitis is that they both share an inflammatory pathway. Simply put, cytokines are cells that signal other cells in the immune system. It is found that people with periodontitis have a larger amount of these pro-inflammatory cytokines, which can then increase the rate of inflammation in the body. Consequently, this causes the host to be more susceptible to other health conditions such as diabetes. Some oral manifestations of diabetes include xerostomia or dry mouth, which can lead to an increase in caries, a burning mouth sensation that can be attributed to diabetic neuropathy, and poor wound healing as a result of the immunosuppression that diabetic patients face, which can lead to an increase in infections in the oral cavity. Over here, you can see a picture of healthy mouth with nice pink pyramidal shaped gingiva. And in contrast with the patient with diabetes and periodontitis, there's a lot of recession, bone loss, inflammation, and inflammation present. As dental hygienists, we need to be in constant communication with our diabetic patients regarding their management of their diabetes. For example, their A1C reading and if they require any pre-medication or not. During the intraoral examination, the hygienist should always be looking for signs of periodontitis in their diabetic patients, such as recession, inflammation, and bleeding upon probing. Uh, we also need to stress the importance of good home care practices like brushing and flossing twice a day in order to arrest the periodontitis. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you.